let's have a look at one of the most famous alternative anthems of all time. Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. This is so common when people are first learning guitar. It's one of the first things I learn and then I talk that to my mates and I imagine that goes on a hell of a lot. It's really useful because it's a cool little chord progression, not too complicated, and it utilizes those percussive strums we were speaking about in the previous lesson. So we'll just have a quick little look at that and then I'll let you go away and perfect everything. We're gonna use that power chord shape that we've become very familiar with now, stretching across three frets. We're gonna to go to the first fret of the lowest E string tuck just behind and then our third and our fourth land on the A and the D. Our second finger could be resting on the D, resting on our first or kind of doing this thing in the middle here. So down up down gets us up and running. Then we relax all the fingers like we spoke about earlier so that now everything is just resting on the strings but not pressing down hard so we get a and that comes straight after the down up down. Okay. And we've now moved the same distance of frets, but we've gone down a string. We've gone to our A sharp. First finger, third, fourth. We're in A sharp. And we just do a down, down. And then a percussive down up. Then we slide to the full fret of the lowest E. When making that slide from the first to the full fret, you'll hear on the record that there's not always a definitive percussive strum. Sometimes open strings are caught or he will stay on that first fret a little bit longer so the down up catches those strings. Just as a quick example. Hear how we didn't have the percussive strumming there, but we just caught that chord for a little bit longer at the end of that strumming pattern. Nice and slow. Or there'll be some open strings that are caught during that transition from the first to the fourth. Hear how I've just slightly caught those open strings. And on that last up strum, I'm pushing towards the full fret and I'm ready for my next down strum. And once we get to that full fret, we apply the same pattern that we did to the first. And then we move down to the full fret of the A and we apply the same pattern that we did to the first fret. So it's just repeating the pattern from the first up to the fourth. So when that riff finishes on the full fret and we start again, at the moment we're putting that little percussive strum in there, but the same thing when we went from the first fret of the A up to the full fret of the E and we filled it with that little open note or we stayed on the chord a little bit longer, the same can be done at the end of the riff. So you hear throughout the record there's slight differences when we're making that transition from the first fret of the A up to the full fret of the E and when the riff finishes on the full fret of the A back to the first fret of the E. And it will vary throughout, but as we're working on percussive strums in this lesson, I wanted to make sure that when we had that transition, you can practice putting that short little percussive strum in there, but you can also obviously experiment and practice having those open notes or staying on that chord a little bit longer as you make your transitions. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please think about giving us a little like and a subscribe. And if you wanna go further, remember you can hit those links in the description and you'll get access to the full courses. I hope you're feeling confident and creative and I'll hopefully see you in one of the larger courses one day. Or for now, just have a little scout around on the YouTube channel and see what else you can find. Take care.